Today, we're talking about the present day ministry of our Lord Jesus Christ. The book of Hebrews highlights two important aspects of the present day ministry of Jesus in relation to the blood covenant. First, Jesus is our high priest, and second, he is our mediator. As a high priest, he's representing us before the Father, as mediator, he is the guarantor or he is the enforcer of the new covenant. So the book of Hebrews brings these two aspects out that every covenant, whether it's Abrahamic covenant or the Mosaic covenant, had a priesthood alongside it. And then it tells us, you know, the covenant that we have, Jesus Christ is the great high priest. As of a great high priest, uh, Jesus, uh, he was called by God and he was given a perpetual covenant, meaning a never ending covenant. Uh, uh, and that means he's our high priest always forever. Number two, uh, he has completed all payment for sin. Thirdly, um, Jesus completed the work and he became the source of salvation. Number four, as our high priest, uh, Jesus, you know, uh, after he rose up from the dead, uh, Jesus entered into that ho most holy place, a holy of holies, with his own blood as our high priest, Jesus, has permanently removed the list of offenses that was against us. Uh, he has judged and condemned the accuser. Hebrews chapter 2, verses 17 and 18, the Bible says, Jesus is our merciful and faithful high priest and he aids us when we are tempted. Secondly, uh, the Bible tells us he is the apostle and high priest of our confession. Thirdly, he is a high priest who understands our weaknesses. So he understands our weaknesses and he is there in the very throne of God. The Bible says so we come boldly to the throne to obtain grace, to find grace, to obtain mercy in our time of need. Number four, uh, the Bible tells us he is a high priest according to the order of Melchizedek and Jesus receives our tithes just as Melchizedek received tithes from Abraham. Number five, as a high priest, uh, he has an unchangeable priesthood. No matter how low you may have gone, your high priest, Jesus Christ, is able to save us to the uttermost, the Bible says, because there are for those who come to God through him. So this is the high priest who is able to help us. As of a high priest, the Bible says, he is currently making intercession for us. So when you and I go in the presence of God, because we know that we have Jesus as our high priest, the Bible says you come boldly, you come with full assurance, you come with confidence. So Jesus as our high priest, he is our intercessor, he is our advocate, he does it all. Now it's very interesting, uh, just, to understand, just to help us understand how we relate to Jesus as a paracletos, to understand how the Holy Spirit as our paracletos helps us, how, we, how he comes to our aid, how is he the sevenfold paracletos in our lives? Romans 8, 26 helps us understand that. It says that the Spirit helps us in our weaknesses. Uh, when we don't know what to pray, he helps us to pray. You know, uh, so that's how he is the paracletos to us. And that's how Jesus is the paracletos to us. He helps us in our weaknesses. When you go to pray, remember there's a high priest there at the, very, right, at the Father's right hand, Jesus Christ, the great high priest. Jesus. Uh, as mediator, there are two aspects of it. First is a mediate, mediator, the, a mediatorial work which he completed for us on the cross. It says in 1 Timothy chapter 2, verses 6 and 7, the Bible says, There is one God and one mediator between God and men, the man Christ Jesus, uh, who oft gave himself up for us all. He gave himself up as a ransom for us all. So, so today the book of Hebrews says he is the mediator of the new covenant. You know? So number one, very important, when you want to receive covenant blessings, when you want to receive covenant provision, you need to come to the Lord on the basis of the cross. You and I need to stand on the basis of the cross. That means this work has been completed on the cross and that is why I'm coming to receive and as mediator of the covenant. This is what Jesus does for us. He ministers to us when we come to him on the basis of the cross, which is the blood covenant. And he enforces that covenant in our lives when we stand up a ground and resist the enemy, resist the one who violates the new covenant, Satan. But then when we, Jesus comes and he, as mediator, as guarantor, as enforcer of the covenant, he administers 
what has been provided for and made available to us in the new covenant.